want to talk about effects pedals or modeler effects, basically any type of effects that you might use in your guitar signal chain. They are of course great things to have, really useful tools for the guitar player, but are you overusing them? In this video I want to look at dialing effects or pedals back for better, more subtle sounds. And I learned a lot of this stuff through my diploma in media composition, writing music for TV, film and adverts etc. So let's take chorus for example. We all know what chorus sounds like when it's dialed up and obvious. Just listen to any 80s rhythm sound, Richard Marks, early White Snake, etc. But it can be used in the background just to thicken up the tone. It doesn't always have to be so in your face though. And it's great for a rhythm guitar, especially when there's only one six string guitar in your band. And then there's delay. Studio engineers have used this effect forever in the background, although you'd never know it. Works great to thicken up vocals or audio tracks, acoustic guitars as well, without being too obvious. And it can be substituted for reverb for a more upfront sound on the vocal. Now delay has been used in the background for years, and it's been really upfront and obvious on some songs as well of course, the edge being the most obvious choice, but just a little delay sometimes goes a long way. Reverb's another one. A lot of new players tend to overuse it, and I know I did. And it can be overused fantastically well for ambient tones though, but let's ignore that for now. Just a touch of reverb can lay a good foundation for any tone, and I use it a lot on my videos just in the background to blend notes on solo parts. Many different types to choose from of course, from plate reverb, where back in the 60s I think, entire rooms were dedicated to reverb where they hung huge plates in large cavernous rooms to create the reverberated sound. Um, also then onto spring reverb, which is more compact and it uses real springs to haul our room reverbs, which capture the sound of the room. Imagine an amp for example in a church or a large hall and the reverb that that would generate. Now I use spring reverb on the Hot Rod 4 and then add a tiny amount of large room reverb, which is a standard reverb in Final Cut Pro. Um, and I add that in post-production, which I think sounds really nice. Overdrive distortion and fuzz, classic effects that really don't need to be overused unless you're playing metal or heavy rock. Classic rock for example just used overdriven tones or heavy overdriven tones and the distortion that you think is there wasn't really there at all. They didn't use heavy distortion. Take a listen to some of your favourite classic rock songs and specifically the guitar tones. Not so much distortion as overdrive blended with the clean tone. Fuzz especially, if you dial fuzz up it usually sounds really nasty and unusable and I like to dial it right back and the Bayang fuzz does it perfectly. Overdrive distortion and fuzz are of course subjective, you all like different overdriven tones to me, we all will, 
and it's going to depend on your experience with it whether you listen to the stuff you listen to and try and emulate that or you play live and you try to fit in with the rest of the band trying to get a complimentary sound effects you can't get away from like flanging and phasing which sound great as an attention grabber during a song making a small part of the song stand out and these are normally used with the effect full-on not normally a subtle thing although they can be and they can also sound great in the background as well just adding a little something it's the same with compression it can be overused as an effect for example to gate the drums for sidechain or new york compression used in dance tracks but for the guitar it can just level out the quiet and loud passages and add extra sustain always sounds best when you don't notice it though in my experience <laughs> my ramble imagine turning everything up to the max on your pedal board making it obvious um, it would sound something like this and now all the effects in moderation about just adding the effects as well effects an effect that just adds a little something to the tone without destroying it it's definitely worth trying it to see how it affects your rig just enhancing your already great tone this is how mix engineers have been doing it for decades just a little here and there to complement the original signal but what are your thoughts let me know as always in the comments cheers <laughs> <laughs> 